really good. So let's get start joining in here in just a second. Hopefully everybody can hear me all right. All right, who's on here? Let's see. Sorry guys, I just put some Visine drops in my eyes and I can, it's hard for me to see. I don't see anything up on the screen there. Am I live yet? <clears throat> I'm giving it a few minutes here for my screen to pop up. All right, all right, looks like I'm on. Cool. Sorry guys, it took me a couple minutes to figure it out. Second time using this live thing. Hopefully my, everything's in view. Who's on here with me? Can you guys hear me okay? Give me some thumbs up. If you guys can hear me, remember that there's a little bit of a delay so I don't get your questions. Hi Lorraine. Hi Susie. Phil. Hi Tatiana. What's up Brian? All right, I see some people popping in. So we're going to give it just a few minutes to uh, get, get everybody situated. So I'm going to go ahead and start telling you guys what you guys need to make sure that everybody has, you guys have all your little brushes. You guys are going to need a little cup with some water in it. You guys are going to need some paints. And I'm going to try to do this so that it doesn't tip on me. I got some light blue, dark blue, got some yellow. Hopefully this is all in shot. I mean, not. Yellow, orange, pink, light pink, purple, white, and black. Anything remotely like that will be fine. Whatever you guys have is what you guys are going to use. Do we have any questions? What's up, Belle? Lydia's on here. Let's see. Chula's on here. Janet's on here. Cool. Um, you guys will also need some pencils. Okay, make sure you guys have some pencils. Um... Brushes, you guys all know brushes, what brushes you guys are going to have. Any questions for me? In a moment, we're going to, we're going to flip this around and we're going to get going. Oh, hey, let me make some adjustments to my studio real quick. Got to make some changes to the light a little bit. So we're going to get started in about maybe 20 minutes. I'm lowering the lights a little bit in here. Just making little adjustments. Make sure you guys put your questions up for me if you guys have any. Janet says she's ready. Michelle Peterson, hi.
All right, so what is everybody drinking? Tell me what you guys are drinking over here. I'm gonna be drinking a little bit of wine. Let's see who else is on here. Let's see. All right, all right guys. So you guys know what we're painting today. Hopefully you guys all downloaded. I'm gonna move this over to the left a little bit for now. So if you guys saw my post from yesterday, sometime in the afternoon or in the morning, I posted um, these sheets, these little cutouts that you guys could make for the balloons. I am going to be teaching you guys how to draw all this in here. Okay, the balloons, the pine tree, the pine trees and stuff. But if you guys got my little um, cutout, my little pictures of the cutouts, you guys want to make sure you guys have those, print those out and cut those out. No questions from anyone. Let's see. All right, all right. Homemade Sangria, OJ Malibu. Give me one sec, everybody. It's getting a little, a little hot in here, man. I'll take off my, my bow tie and turn up my air. All right, everybody. Sorry about that. I had to make some adjustments to my to my fan and stuff in here. So how's everybody doing? Hi, Helen. Who else? Ariel's on here. Okay. Susie, so the cutouts are on one of my posts from yesterday. You can jump on there. Make it, it's probably too late. I'm going to teach you guys how to draw it anyway. So don't worry about it. Like I said, um, yeah, I had to remove my... My bow tie, it's too, too hot in my room. Anyway, I am going to be teaching you guys how to draw all the stuff on here, but if you guys got a chance to print out those cutouts that I posted yesterday, it'll help you guys out pretty good. You guys will be better off using those, but don't worry about it. I will get you guys squared away by teaching you guys how to, how to draw everything, right? So let's see. Susan, you would have to go to the... Um, to one of my posts on this page from yesterday, okay? Hello from West Hemet. Where are you guys? Tell me where you guys are. So I see Hemet's on here. Um, I think Redlands is in here. Who else? Who else? Hi, Des. Ah, oh, Des. She made home great, homemade sangria. Awesome. Who else? Who else? Woo! All right, we got quite a few people on here. So in a minute or two, I'm going to be switching this all around. I'm going to be switching over to that side where I'm going to be teaching you guys how to paint. Um, once again, these are our colors, okay? Anything that you got that's kind of similar to this is all good, okay? Don't stress too much if you guys don't have these exact colors. Whatever you guys have, we will make it work. You guys do want to make sure you guys have a pencil, okay? Because we're going to be doing a little bit of drawing. Again, guys, if... You guys have a chance, if you guys get a moment, go to one of my posts from earlier yesterday here on Painting with Jesse. There's some pictures that I put up of balloons and some trees. You guys would need to print those out and cut them out. Actually, you probably don't have enough time for it, but for the future, I do post templates. I put templates up on, uh, on my pages for you guys, or sorry, going forward, right? Because we're gonna be doing this probably once every sat, once every once a week on Saturdays. Um, if we're going to be using templates, I'll be posting them up. You guys can download those, cut them out, and then just be ready to have those 
you know, draw those onto your canvas the day of. I will be teaching you guys how to draw everything, so don't stress out if you guys don't have that. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, um, let's see, who else, who else? Who else is on here? Send me your questions. We are starting right at 3.30. So if you guys think you guys have time, hi Beth. Beth is also in West Hemet. Lorraine is drinking pineapple coconut margaritas. Oh, that sounds really good. Um, so does the homemade sangri sangria. Hi, Jen. Adriana's back. Adriana, so the cutouts, the cutouts for the, so if you guys made the cutouts for the balloons or you guys are trying to make the cutouts for the balloons right now, the size is all up to you guys. Oh, so here's also what you guys can do. So anything that's round, like these lids on these, um, on these paints of mine, or like the bottoms of these guys, we can use those. Okay, so anything, so for your balloons, right? Different, different balloon sizes, like this, right? So anything similar to this at your house, you guys can use, um, right? So again, we're making different size uh, balloons. So whenever you got, if you guys have something round in lieu of having the cutouts made, all you guys need is something round. And you want some you want varying sizes everybody's balloons are going to be different sizes all right so don't stress on that your balloons aren't going to be exactly like my size um, if you guys are uh, painting on a different canvas different size canvas then your balloon sizes are also going to vary with that as well that's going to be up to you guys to decide um, what what size balloons you guys are going to have also I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas but you guys can use whatever you guys have so okay keep that in mind Let's see, what are the questions? <laughs> so somebody asked, where am I? I think somebody asked where I am. Oh no. Yeah, you guys are talking amongst, amongst yourselves. Cool. Uh, let's see, what should I put paint on if I don't have a paper plate? You can use any, so that's a question from Jennifer. Um, you can have pretty much any surface, even a regular dinner plate would work. Uh, ceramic, anything that's, that's not porous that, that the paint won't uh, stain will work so if you guys don't have a paper plate mine's a styrofoam plate but uh you know any, a plate like this you guys need one like it so you guys can put your paints on it so you guys do want to make you guys want to be prepping right now want to make sure you guys are getting your paints together okay putting putting those together so again spread them out kind of like this you do want a second plate or a second surface to be painting on give me one second so i can grab mine you need a second surface where you guys are going to be um, painting your, sorry, making your mixes. All right, so a second plate will be needed so you guys can mix your colors on here. When we're doing some of the different colors, some of the different shades up here, we might do a little bit of mixing. So you guys want to make sure you have a second plate. So it is 314. We got 15 more minutes. Let's see, Adriana says, piece of cardboard or newspaper. Yes, piece of cardboard uh, or newspaper will work. Let's see, Sheila is racing to get her stuff. No worries, we got about 15 minutes. We are going to be starting on time, folks, so 3.30 is when we will start. Um, last week, I think I lost some of you guys at the beginning because I stopped the recording when I switched everything over to, to the other side. I'm not going to be doing that this time, simply I'm... Going to switch everything around as is so I don't lose any of you. Okay, if I do happen to lose some of you guys for some reason, simply refresh the screen on your computer or whatever you're watching on, and I should, I should come back up. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. There's about a 30, 40 second delay from uh, what I'm recording here to what you guys see over there. So, all right. Any questions about the painting? Let's see. Yeah, Jennifer, you can, you can use any plate. It will work. Just make sure you... Wash it off afterwards so the paint doesn't stain. Also, don't blame me if any of your plates get stained, all right? Um, let's see, what else? What else? Yakaida, how often do you have this, these sessions? Somebody asked me how often I have these, these sessions. So right now, I'm planning on having them either once a week, so every Saturday, or once every two weeks. I haven't decided yet. Can you guys tell me what you guys think? If I had one every Saturday, do you guys, would you guys be here with me? Probably about the same time, 3 o'clock. Give me thumbs up and hearts if you guys would be here with me if I do it every Saturday. Again, I'm kind of considering either every Saturday or every other Saturday. I'm not sure yet. It just kind of depends on how, um, how popular this gets. 
and also my, my time. Um, I, I like doing this. So, all right. I'm seeing some hearts and some thumbs up. Cool. Who else is on here? Who else is on here? All right, guys. Let me know where you guys are. What city are you guys in? And if you guys are in a different state other than California, let me know that too because I'd, like I'd like to know. I'm just kind of curious. See, a lot of people were on here last week. Super cool. Thank you guys for coming back. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Lydia Livingston is back with us again. Cool. All right. And then, guys, you guys feel free to share uh, my invites. They go to anybody. Anybody that wants to join can join. So um, you guys can invite your friends. I'm not, I'm not making this exclusive to people that follow my page. It's whoever wants to join, the more the merrier. I think uh, the bigger the group that we have, the, the more fun it is. So, again, if you guys wish to share this with other people, invite your friends that live other places, please feel free to do so. Uh, so we'll see again what happens with regards to, um, to how often I do these. But, but right now I'm thinking at least every two weeks, if not every, every, uh, every week, and more than likely Saturday. All right, Jennifer, you are in Washington. Hansville, Washington. Very cool. I think I pronounced that right. Cool. Helen Haro is in the South Bay. Sheila is in Laguna Niguel. Cool. Very, very cool. So how's everybody dealing with this COVID-19 nonsense? Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's getting crazy, huh? A lot of, a lot of protests and stuff out there. But who cares? Anyway, I don't, don't want to talk about COVID. I want to um, have some fun today. Uh, send me your ideas, guys. If some of you want to see a particular painting on here, uh, I run out of ideas. I've got a whole bunch of paintings. You guys can see behind me, I've got different paintings that I've done over the years. For those of, the, of you that don't know, and I think most of the people that are on here probably already know, I've been doing paint parties for about, it's been about, um, I want to say about three years, three and a half years. Um, and uh, so I've got a whole bunch of paintings that I've done over the years, but um, I run out of ideas. Um, sometimes, so if you guys want to see some stuff on here that you guys like, maybe you guys find something online or, you know, somewhere where you guys are, are um, you guys, hey, I want to do this, maybe just so I want to do this, send those to me, okay, send those, I, I take recommendations, I like to see what you guys' thoughts are, um, I've got a bunch of stuff, but a lot of you guys that are on here have joined me on some of those uh, paint parties, so I don't want to repeat, so that, I'd like to keep having fresh paintings on here. Let's see, Desiree, you guys are in your garage. Cool, all right, all right. Um, let's see, Susie Guzman says she wants to see a beach theme. All right, we can do a beach theme. What else, guys, what else? What else do you guys want to see on here? Freddie Baum is on, he jumped on here a moment ago. He's a friend from uh, where I used to work, pretty cool. What's up, Freddie? All right, guys, count down. 11 minutes and we're going to get going. Hopefully you guys are all getting your stuff ready to go um, again get your paints onto a surface having a second plate or surface to make your mixes on is recommended you want a cup of some type with water in it where you can have your brushes sitting in, in right uh, especially if you're working with acrylic paint you don't have to use acrylic paint that is what I'm using um, but paint colors, you guys see what's on here already, and you guys have already seen my paint color lists. Hopefully you guys got something kind of similar. If not, whatever you've got, get creative and make it work. Adriana Perez says she wants to see a waterfall. All right. Jasmine's on here. Jasmine, are you and your mom painting? Are you guys painting? All right. Sheila wants to see some sea life on here. All right. Maybe we'll do that. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's see. I don't see any questions, so you guys, you guys must all be ready to go all right a few more minutes guys a few more minutes all right guys hold on just a little bit i gotta get my drinky drink ready i'll join you guys in just a bit i'm drinking some uh some wine by the way we're gonna do a little a little toast here in a minute keep your questions coming i can see them on my screen over here i'm, I'm behind the camera now
All right, I got my drinky drink ready. Who else is on here? Let's see who else has joined us. Oh, guys, that's right. So, for future reference, for future reference, I often use I often use glitter paints in my paintings. All right, um, in the stuff that I teach. I use all these little, there's these little glitter paints you guys can get at Hobby Lobby. Um, one brand is Craft Deco Art, Craft Twinkles. Okay, uh, another one, actually, this one, the, the Deco Art one is from uh, Michaels. And then the other, I've got another Deco Art. I picked this one up at, uh, at Hobby Lobby. I don't see this other one at, anyway, glitter paints. If you guys want to invest in some glitter paints, because we will be using glitter paints. And some future paintings so make sure you guys pick up some of those let's see um chelsea's on here hi chelsea what happened chelsea all right let's see all right jasmine art you're gonna be painting awesome patty lou okay you're almost ready all right guys eight more minutes i'm gonna start switching things over to the other side i've got a few people on here there's 21 people on here i'm not sure how many of you are going to be painting hopefully all of you that would be super cool so Again, guys, questions. Look, I think you guys are probably all just getting ready. So very cool. But again, so glitter paints. Also, I often will use uh, fluorescent color paints. Actually, I actually have a little bit of fluorescent colors on here right now. Um, I would show you guys. Is that where, I would turn the lights off and show you guys where I, I left my black light somewhere on here. But anyway, I might show you guys later. It's not important for this painting, but for future reference, I know you guys are having a hard time getting some of the supplies and stuff, but I do use neon colors, fluorescent neon colors that will make, really make your, your painting stand out. So uh, just keep that in mind. If you guys can pick some of those up at some point, that would be awesome. So all right, guys, I'm going to start switching over my stuff over to the other side in about two minutes. Um, Hi, Lydia. Okay, your granddaughter, Trinity, is also joining you guys. Cool, very cool. Hi, Carrie Miller. First time here. Sharpies and pencils. Yeah, you guys can use Sharpies. Absolutely. I'm going to be drawing the balloons in pencil and then outlining them in a, in a black pen. I don't necessarily know that I'll be using a Sharpie, but I will be outlining everything in black pen so you guys can see it. If you guys have a Sharpie, you guys can use that. Hi, Miriam. I think Miriam's on here also. If you guys have a Sharpie, you guys want to use a Sharpie to, um, to outline your stuff, uh, once you've drawn it, that does help a lot. It creates that outline where you guys will be painting on the inside of just like you do with uh, with a uh, coloring book, right? Like, like when you guys were all kids, you paint on the inside, you can use that outline to stay on the inside. I'll explain that later. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, guys, so six minutes. I'm going to go ahead and start switching everything over. So bear with me as I move some stuff around. Remember guys, keep sending me your questions if you guys got any questions. So here's my canvas, 16 by 20 inch. You guys also want to have some paper towels, something that you guys are going to be um, using to wipe down any messes. It looks good about right there. Got my little paint plate. I got my brushes ready. We got my pencils. Oh. Got my black marker. So guys, we're not starting right just yet, about four more minutes. We're gonna start with the darkest blue that you've got. All right, the darkest blue is what we're gonna be starting with. So make sure you get that on standby. We're gonna start with this at the very top, okay? Again, 
We're starting in about four minutes. All right, what time do we got? Four more minutes. Okay. All right, everybody. So, let's all do a little toast before we get going here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Cheers to everybody joining me today. Hopefully we all have a good time. Make sure that as you guys are going along, you guys are sending me your pictures. I wanna see pictures of your progress. So make sure you message me with that stuff. Okay, I also want to see pictures of you guys in the pictures. Last week, a lot of you were sending me pictures, and it was cool when some of you guys were in there. So if you guys can send me pictures. Anyway, let's have a good time. Cheers, everybody. Okay, let me position this so that everybody can see what I'm doing. I'm going to turn my back to you guys a bit. Whoop, one, one of my lights just went out. Let me fix that. I'm going to be turning my back to you guys often. Sorry about that, but this is how we got to do it so you guys can all see what it is that I'm doing, okay? So, I got my water cup right here. You want to start with the largest brush in the group. So if you guys have something like a, again, it also depends on the size of your canvas, but I'm going to start with this. This is about a two inch brush right here. Okay, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna go very slowly. Last week, I started off a little too quick, too quickly for a lot of people and a lot, and a lot of people were telling me to slow down. So I'm gonna go very slowly. Keep in mind guys, in between steps, I'll be looking over at your questions on my laptop. So when you guys have a question, put it on there. Like, but again, I'm not looking at my laptop the whole time. I will look over to see what you guys got, okay? So here we go, guys. Big brush, dark blue. We're starting with the darkest blue that we've got. And this is probably going to be a little darker than what I have on the original, but I'm okay with that, no big deal, All right? If you guys are painting on, I'm gonna bring this forward a little bit like this. All right, here we go. Top. Nice and slow. You don't want this thick, this layer to be too thick. You want it nice and thin. Some of it's going to be a little transparent. You're going to be able to see some of the canvas bleeding through. That's kind of what we want. It gives it, gives it um, the variation in that color is kind of what we're looking for. Okay, so again, nice and slowly. Take your brush. I didn't add any water to my paint in this case. Because I, because this paint that I'm using is pretty liquidy. So, but if you're using a little paint that's a little, a little thicker, you might want to add a little bit of water. So when you do the front of your canvas, you go all the way across, and then you want to do your edges. Okay, so do the edges to match. I can't see what's on that side. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, trust that I'm covering all that edge on that side. And then I also want to do the top. I'm going to do this all the way across. Take your time, folks. There's no rush. This will probably take us about two hours to do. I understand there's some kind of concert on the East Coast 
that is free, uh, something like that. I know some of you guys probably want to catch that. But um, so there we go. There's our first. You guys should have about two shades of blue. Okay, we're gonna have a light blue that. Um, that's Jennifer. Can you show the plate again? Oh yeah. So guys, this isn't necessarily the size that we're gonna be. The size, how much paint I'm gonna be using. I probably added it a little more than I need in some cases, but I did this mostly so you guys can see the colors that we're going to be using. All right, so don't stress too much. Um, you'll obviously throughout if you run out, you'll just add some more. Okay, so again, we've got some dark blue and then we've got some lighter blue. If you don't have a lighter blue, simply take a little bit of your dark blue and add some white to it. Mix it together here to create a lighter blue. That's going to be the next shade, okay? All right. I'm going to let you guys catch up because I know some of you guys are a little slow. That's okay. Take your time. Take your time. Got some slow pokes painting with us. I know because I painted with some of you guys in person. Questions. Let's see. Any questions? I don't see any questions right now. Looks like you guys are all probably busy um, painting. All right. I want to see some thumbs up. Some thumbs up when you guys are ready to go to the next step. Let me know when you guys are ready to go to the next step. Okay, let's see who else is on here. Oh no, somebody's having a hard time with the internet. <laughs> I see sad faces, I see smiley faces, I see some mad faces. And nobody told me last week, because I saw some mad faces too. And I didn't see what the, I couldn't tell what the, sad, the mad faces were about. <laughs> Can somebody tell me what you're mad about? I see mad faces. Okay, what else? I want to see a bunch of hearts, guys. Thumbs up and hearts, please. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Leanne. How's it going, Leanne? Leanne Watts, how are you? Hope you guys are doing awesome, staying safe out there. Who else? Let's see. Belle, okay, I'm seeing some thumbs up. What's the word of the day? Okay, today. Today, let's see. Ah. Every time I say brush, every time I say brush, you got to take a little sip of your drink. Don't get crazy now, but take a little sip of your drink. You want to be able to uh, hang with us the whole time through. But every time I say brush, you guys got to take a drink. All right, I know it's going to be a lot of drinking. Here we go. Next color. Looks like we're ready for the next color. All right. So again, guys, if I'm going too quickly, let me know. I'll slow it down, okay? I'll slow it down if I'm going, but you guys gotta let me know on, on here so I can see it. <laughs> Somebody just took a big ass sip. All right. Okay, guys, next color. So again, we're gonna do light blue. I'm gonna take a little bit of this light blue that I've got on my plate already mixed. Okay, same brush, I'm not switching brushes. I'm just bringing some of that light blue over. If you guys wanna make a lighter version of your blue, simply take a little bit of white and mix it in okay check it out check it out all right look at that again if you're trying to make a light blue simply add a little bit of white so here we go lighter shade coming up lighter shade of blue coming up like this when you guys add this shade spread it across and then bring it up into the dark blue above so that the two blend together all right so the idea is that it gets a little bit lighter as it goes down and then how, how thick this blue band is it's up to you guys let me show you guys the original painting here in just a second so you guys can kind of get the idea as to what we're doing so here's our original right so the blue band is probably about four inches four and a half maybe five inches I don't know and it doesn't really matter too much whether yours matches exactly or not, okay? Um, yours could be a smaller band of blue, it could be larger, maybe yours has more blue in it, but don't, don't stress too much about all that, all right? Uh, all we want is a transition from this dark blue to a lighter blue. In a bit, we're gonna go into some purple, okay? So, um, anyway, anyway. That's where we are right now, all right. Word of the day. Check it out, check it out. No, it's going to be brush. Anytime I say brush. Brush, but when I'm talking about what we're doing up here, all right? 
Let's see. Questions. All right. I think you guys are all, you guys must all be doing awesome because I don't see too many questions, but that's all right. You guys are also busy painting, so that's good. So right now we got 30 people watching. I don't know how many of you guys are painting, but it looks like we've got a good little group painting. That is fantastic. Belle says she just took another big sip. Belle, you better slow down. You guys got to be able to hang the whole time through, okay? So it's up to you guys. If you guys are heavy hitters and take your big sips. But, uh, but yeah, what else do we got? What else do we got? All right, guys. So whenever you guys are ready for the next step, say ready on there. I want to see some readies pop up. Linda. Linda, are you, Linda, are you guys painting? Linda Ruben Fuentes, are you guys painting? Let me know if you guys are painting, okay? I'm shouting like I'm trying to have her hear me through the computer. My microphone is right over here. So, but anyway, folks, start telling me when you guys are ready by, okay, I see some ready. I see some, some thumbs up, okay? Ready for the next step. I'm moving my lights around a little bit because I can see I'm, I'm in a little bit of the, of the dark. All right. Next step, guys. <clears throat> Same brush. Same brush, simply grab it, dip it into your water cup. You're gonna do this. You're gonna clean up that same brush that you were just using. Slosh it around inside your water cup. You can take a paper towel. Nice and slow, guys, nice and slow. Clean up your brush is what we're doing right now. We're just cleaning up the brush. Brush, that means you've got a drink. Okay, here's what I'm doing. So look, I've still got a little bit of blue on here. No big deal. I'm gonna take some of my purple next. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this purple like this. Okay, and I'm gonna bring this. I don't need a lot. We're gonna do this. Okay, I can even grab a little bit of my blue and mix the two together, just a little bit. Okay. Let me get some more there. Okay, now. I'm gonna do this. This is a little bit of a thinner layer. Like this, again, start, start a couple of inches down from the blue and then bring the color up into that band of blue so that they start to mix. But you start a little bit, a little bit lower, right? A little bit further down then you bring it up. That creates a little, a little bit of a blend between the two colors, all right? And it's up to you how big you guys want the purple to be, right? Maybe you guys want more purple on yours. And then don't forget to do your edges, right? To match. And then I trust that I'm doing that side all the way. There we go, like that. So tell me guys, once a week, once every two weeks, what do you guys think? I mean, what I mean is, you can do this once a week or once every two weeks. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing that I'm going too fast for some drunk people that are on there, on here. All right, Linda, I'm going to slow it down, slow it down. All right, everybody. So, I think I owe everybody a drink. Salud. All right, so let me show you guys the difference. The original, the new one. I've got a little bit more purple in this. Okay, I'm not, but I'm not worried about that. I'm okay with that. In a little bit, the next color is going to be this pink, okay? In a little bit. I wanna see some readies whenever you guys are ready. Okay, I'm seeing weekly. You guys wanna do this weekly, okay? Uh, <laughs> Carrie Miller says she needs a reason to shower weekly. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Thumbs up. Okay. I'm going to adjust my fan here, guys. So bear with me. Gives you guys some time to catch up.
gets a little a little hot in my art studio. I had to take off my bow tie earlier. It's too dang hot in here. I have all these lights in here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, so anyway, okay. I've seen some readies. Get me get me a few more readies. And we will move along. All right, guys. All right. See who's watching right now. Who's all watching? Salute, Janet. All right, guys, I need a few more readies before we get going. So for this next step, I'm going to take my brush. I'm not quite ready to go there, but since I'm done, I'm going to take my brush. I'm leaving that brush alone for now, okay? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I am switching brushes, okay? I've switched brushes simply because my big one is pretty dirty, right? And I don't want to have to clean it. But if you guys only have this one to work with for now, go ahead and clean it up. Swirl it around your cup, take a paper towel, clean out the excess water. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm, I'm seeing some ready, so that means you guys are ready. Again, I switched over to a smaller brush. It's still one of my larger ones, but it's this one's about an inch brush. I switched over to this, okay? Whatever you guys have at home, use that, don't stress. The next color that I'm going to use, I've got these two pinks right here. Okay, again, whatever pink color you guys have is what you're going to be using, but I'm going to take a little bit of this. I bring it over to my mix plate. And I'm also going to take a little bit of this other lighter one, and I'm going to bring that over here also. Okay, I'm mixing the two together. Again, whatever color pink you guys have is what you're going to be using. Don't stress. So watch what I do here. I'm going to come down about maybe an inch below, I bring this across, and then I start to bring that up. When I do this, as I bring it up, I'm using up the paint, right? I'm using up the paint on the canvas, and then when, it, when I start to blend it into my purple, there's less of the pink paint on the brush, so it helps that little bit of paint that's on the brush now, it blends in with the purple that's above it. That's one way that you can blend your colors together. And I can keep doing this without adding more paint to my brush. And um, this will create a really cool little blend of colors there. And then again, you want to do your edges, right? You want to match your edges. So here we go. There we are. All right. And then I've got, so I've got my, I got this darker pink. I'm going to grab a little bit of that. And I'm going to bring this down here. Again, folks, don't stress if you don't have the exact colors that I'm using. Work with what you have. Also, guys, since you know we're going to be doing this regularly, maybe for those of you that um, want to join or just watching, um, get the basic paint colors, basic, a basic set of paints. You can pretty much mix anything, any color you want with a basic set of paint colors. I uh, also get a basic set of brushes. Um, so, you know, got a variety of brushes. Make sure you get one large brush. <clears throat> I know, I'm saying brush a lot. Too bad, guys. We already made the rules. We already made the rules. Just take little sips. If I'm saying brush too many times, just take little sips. All right, look at that. I'm digging this. See how I do this, guys? I'm not using a whole lot of paint. These layers aren't really thick. When I when I keep the layers nice and thin like this, the paint from the, the white of the canvas bleeds through a bit. Um, and you could, you know, you got different, you got some of that white bleeding through and it kind of creates different shades. If I was to add thick layers, then the paint becomes really uniform. Somebody asked me what kind of paint I'm using. So this is acrylic paint. There's all kinds of brands of acrylic paint. This is pretty good right here. Uh, not very expensive. Um, there's all I got this. I get this one at Hobby Lobby. Um, this one over here is a little bit cheaper and probably the one I use the most. Artist Loft works pretty well. It's nice and glossy. Um, they're both really glossy, but they're, they're easy to work with. Yeah, baby sips, <clears throat> baby sips. So again, everyone, this is acrylic paint for those of you that don't know. Some of you guys are watching just watching and are interested how we do this um this is acrylic paint 
Okay, just get some basic brushes and you guys will be okay. So, uh, your pink. Let's keep working on that pink a little bit. I'm gonna make this pink band a little bit lower just because I want a bigger pink band in here. It's a pretty cool color, so it stands out quite a bit. Just gonna do that a little bit. All right, guys, let me know when you're ready for the next step. Start giving me your readies and your thumbs up. Progress picks, folks. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet on those progress picks. You guys can send me, start sending me those when we got the whole front of this covered up. All right? <clears throat> okay. I am going to take, I'm going to keep using this brush. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to clean this up really well. I'm going to be using orange in just a second. So clean it up, clean it up. <laughs> Somebody asked if they can sip the paint. You could, it's non-toxic. It happens. It happens, you'll be all right. So clean up your brushes, folks. Clean up your brushes. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Salud. Just a little bit, just a little bit. All right. Somebody asked me, how far did we go down with the pink? I went a little further than halfway. But you can go a little further than that. Here's the original. Okay, you see? On the original, I went a little further. I'm not too worried about that. So here's half, here's about half my canvas. I went a little further than that. All right? <clears throat> Good question, though. Keep coming with those questions if you guys have questions. All right, I'm seeing some thumbs up. I'm, I'm seeing some ready. Yeah, my chair is pretty squeaky, isn't it? Yeah. I know, I know. Okay, guys, looks like we're, are we ready? <laughs> Here we go. Orange. A little bit of orange, right? You guys are, have already cleaned up your brush. Don't worry, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow it down here. So I'm taking some orange. Taking a little bit of orange. I'm going to come about an inch down. Spread that across. I don't need a lot of paint for this again. So as I spread it, it starts to thin the paint out. So I start moving up. Right, I don't need a lot of paint to start to blend in with the pink above it. I just keep using the same bit of paint that's on the brush, but I, but I spread that paint. I spread it quite a bit. So I keep going up. There we go. Look at that. I'm going to do the same thing down here as I bring it down. Right, all the way down. Then I'm also going to paint the edges all right let's not forget that it can't neglect the edges don't neglect the edges okay look at that paint spread it the paint the paint the paint like that. our edges in a little bit when we start doing the yellow um i'm gonna I'm going to keep using this paint, a little tiny bit of orange, orange that's on the brush. I'm going to use that to blend it in with the paint. So I'm not cleaning this up for the next step. Spread it. Yeah, spread it. Spread that paint. All right. Look at that. Check it out. A lot of times people get caught up in using a whole bunch of paint. And they'll load up the brush and they make this really thick layer. Acrylic, acrylic paint dries pretty quickly, but if you make it, make a real fat layer, it takes a lot longer to dry. We're looking for a quick drying, drying uh, layer, so you want to spread this out. You want to cover the entire canvas, but you want to spread that paint so that it dries rather quickly, and then we'll be able to come in and make our balloons and stuff on here in a little bit. Somebody said coronavirus. All right. All right, we got 35 people watching. Again, guys, if you're not painting with us, so you guys know, um, I'm going to be doing this once. Sorry, guys, my chair is super squeaky. I got to tighten up some screws on the dang thing. We're going to be doing this uh, either once a week or once every couple of weeks. I'm not sure. Um, 
not the legs, coronavirus, not the legs, I'm not sure what that means. Um, so once a week, once every two weeks, we're going to be doing this. Uh, so get yourself some paints, some basic brushes, some canvases, and uh, we're going to have ourselves a grand old time, okay? Uh, it's free to join. Invite your friends. Spread the word. You guys can come here and have some fun with me. All right? Okay, guys. So same brush. Yellow. Grab some yellow. Actually, let me know if you guys are ready. Send me, tell me, down, up, down below, tell me if you guys are ready. You ready? We ready? Thumbs up. Hearts. Smiley faces. Uh, all right. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Ready to go. Yellow. Okay. We're going to do this next layer right here. All, we're actually going to go with the yellow all the way down. Okay. So, again, how do we do this? We spread this across because there's a little bit of orange in my brush already. It blends in a little bit with that yellow, creating a kind of in-between orange and yellow color. I do the same thing as earlier. I bring this up, spread it up into my orange layer so that the two will blend. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to take my brush and grab more yellow. This time there's going to be more yellow. On my on my brush, so it's going to be it's going to start turning into a more yellow color, a yellower color as we go down the canvas. All right, all right, all right. Remember, spread that paint. You don't want a really thick layer. I'm probably going over too far to the left. I'm going to raise this up a little tiny bit so I can get to that bottom edge. Okay, guys. As soon as you guys get to the bottom here, I want to see some uh, some progress pics. Start sending me pictures of what your canvas looks like covered all the way, all right? Again, folks, this is free to join. You guys can come and join. Invite your friends. Let people know that we're going to be doing this regularly, at least as long as all this coronavirus nonsense lasts. Who knows, maybe next week they'll say everybody we're, back to, we're, we're able to all resume our regular lives. Who knows? But until then, we need some fun stuff to do at home. You guys can do this um, in group sessions. You know what I'm thinking about possibly doing? You guys let me know. So I used to do, before all this coronavirus stuff happened, <clears throat> I, I mentioned earlier and I've mentioned it before. I know a lot of you guys already know because you guys have hosted events, a lot of you that are on here hosted events with me um, before and have been to events that I've done. So I do paint parties and I've done them all over Southern California for the past three years. I've probably done, if I had to guess, maybe about 250 uh, events. I'm thinking of the possibility that maybe in the future I'll be doing um, Zoom Maybe Zoom parties where you guys, somebody's celebrating a birthday and they want to get all their friends together, maybe 15, 20 friends, but you guys are all at your homes, right? Maybe I'll do it on Zoom where you guys all, it's a private party for your group on Zoom. Um, that's, that's a possibility that I'm, I'm trying to play with that idea. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know and maybe we'll, we'll make that happen, okay? So yeah, so it would be like a little private deal uh, with just your friends again on zoom you guys uh, would reserve a certain time of day and um, We would have a private session for just Obviously I'd, I'd, I'd be charging for that. I don't know what zooms rates are and stuff like that I'd have to figure all that out. But anyway, that's a possibility. Okay, everybody blue purple pink orange yellow All the way down. Don't forget your edges. Don't worry about the bottom edge So the edge underneath this guy here, don't worry about that. We're gonna do that at the very, very end. If you do it now, if you're painting on, okay, do this if you're not painting on an easel. Okay, if you're painting on an easel, don't do this. Don't paint the bottom because it will stick. And then later when you try to remove it, it will not, it will be difficult to take off. All right, guys, I wanna see some pictures. Give me a minute to get ready for the next step here. Got a 
I got to uh, refill my drink a little bit. Start sending me questions if you guys have any. And also, guys, let me know what you guys think about my Zoom idea. Again, private parties on Zoom. I know I said a brush, brushes a bunch of times, so I, we owe some drinks. Let's see, Jennifer. Hi, Stephanie. Let's see, I need to get easels also. Okay. Yeah, guys, again, everybody's welcome to come on and join us. You just need brushes, something to paint on, preferably a canvas of some type, um, paints, acrylic paints, and... Um, yeah, your, your artistic self. All right, guys. So cheers, everybody. I know I, some of you guys are saying you're not ready yet. Okay, no worries. We're going to get moving here in a, in a few minutes. So, all right. I'm seeing some pictures pop up. Cool. Hi, Lydia. Awesome. Send me your pictures, guys. Send me your pictures. Cheers, folks. Here we go. Salud. I promise next time I won't have a chair that's as squeaky as this one. <clears throat> All right. I'm seeing a couple of readies. I'm seeing some not readies. Come on, everybody. Again, no rush, guys. It is three. It's almost four o'clock. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Maria Belen Rocha. Salud. All right, who else is sending me pictures? Sheila, let's see what's on there. <laughs> yeah, Sheila, you bought a bunch of stuff. Cool, guys, all right. I'm seeing some cool pictures popping up on my messenger. Very cool. Thumbs up, guys. Let me know if you guys are ready to go. Okay, let's see. So our next step, so you guys get ready. So you guys that are ready, start getting even more ready. Our next step is this. I'm going to be teaching you. I'm going to be doing this part right here. Okay, the, the ground, this, all this black down here at the bottom is what we're going to be doing next. Okay, so get so be ready for that. Birds. Birds, guys. The little birds right here, these are all optional. Anything on here on the painting is optional. Okay? I want to make sure you guys understand that. Um, those of you that are used to painting with me, you guys can create whatever you want, right? It's your painting, so I'm not, you know, I'm not expecting everybody to do this exact same thing. You guys can have one balloon if you want. Maybe some of you guys want to have one large balloon. Maybe some of you guys are going to do five balloons. I don't know what you guys are thinking about doing. But, again, for those of you that weren't here earlier, while you guys are still kind of catching up, if you guys didn't already do this, if you guys didn't get those cutouts that I posted yesterday, where you guys could cut out your just the shapes of the balloons would be what's important don't worry about it what you guys do need and maybe you guys can gather this in between steps you guys are going to need some round thing like these bottles with you know the, the round bottom um you could use anything that's round and it depends on what size I mean, one sec depending on the size of balloons that you guys are going to make will depend on the size of the surface that you're going to use Right, so maybe if you want small balloons, you would do this. We're not there yet. We're not working on balloons yet. Right, so you would trace this part out to make it easier. You can also do it freehand. I'm going to be doing some, at least one or two of them freehand so you guys can see the process. But for those of you that don't want to hassle with that, get something like this. Um, you guys can use the bottom of smaller bottles, right, like this. So like think for the small one up here. So again, so you guys start getting ready. When we get to that step, that's how you guys are going to do that. It's going to make it easier. Again, if you didn't get a chance to get those cutouts that I made and get those ready. Again, no big deal. All right, Jennifer, awesome. Jennifer, it looks good. Okay, guys, don't be shy. Send me your pictures. Okay. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We are switching brushes. Well, you don't have to if that's all you've got. But if you've got the brush, 
I'm switching over to about a three quarters inch brush. Size does not matter too much here. We can, you can have a, the larger the brush, especially when we're covering large areas, the larger the brush, the better, okay? This is probably about a three, it might even be an inch brush. Uh, actually, this is, yeah, three quarters inch brush. Um, anything around this size is fine. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. You guys see this, this floor down here, the ground. Everybody's is going to vary a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna start high on one side. I'm gonna bring it down, bring it down like this, come down, dip. It's gonna come up and then come back out. And then I am going to do my edge. Sorry if I told you earlier about the yellow edge. We're gonna be covering this in black later. So if you already did it in yellow, no big deal. I forgot about this. With all the little sips of wine I've been taking. But yeah, so this bottom part is actually going to be black. We're gonna fix that later, okay? So three quarters inch brush, a little bit of black, okay? So in some cases, you want to bring that black over to your canvas, take a couple of drops of water. I'm dipping my brush into my water cup and then bringing a couple of drops of water over to mix with my paint. I'm doing this right now because this black paint that I'm using is pretty thick. And by adding a little bit of water, it's going to help it, it's going to help it um, flow better. But I want to make sure I mix my water in really, really well with the paint. I don't want runny paint. Okay, so once I've, I've mixed my paint well with that water, here's what I'm going to do. Here we go. That's not what she said. Okay. <laughs> here we go, right here. I'm marking off the edge on one side. I'm going to come over, mark off the edge on the other. This is where my hill starts. It's going to dip down a little bit, come back up. Okay, that's what that is. Now watch what I do. I'm using the edge, the skinny edge of my brush. Little skinny edge. I'm going to go across like this down don't worry if yours doesn't look just like mine doesn't have to one edge might be higher than the other my one edge might be lower than the other okay that's how that is i went up if you want to know how high up on, i went on this one i probably went up about three three and a half inches maybe two and a half three over on the other side once i've done this i'm going to go like this on this first pass, I'm going to be able to see some of the yellow coming through. I'm not worried about that for now. I just want to cover all that bottom area in black. If some of that yellow bleeds through, later I will come back and touch that up. Okay, so for now, all I want is complete coverage right here. I'm going to bring this. And don't forget your edges, right? Don't forget the edges. I'm going to bring the canvas closer to the camera here in just a second so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So from where I'm sitting, I can see some of the, uh, some of the orange yellow coming through, right? But I'm not too worried about that right now. In other words, the color isn't really uniform. Later, I will come back and uh, color this in. I'll do a second layer and that will make everything look really super intense. So waiting on some pictures, guys. Some of you guys are getting shy on me. Send me your pictures on Messenger, okay? All right, so work on that, guys. Work on that. I don't see any questions. Looks like everybody is, is um, following along and doing well. Salud. All right. Cool. Little sip. I know I said brush a few times. Just a little sip. Bring that forward so you guys can see it. Okay. All right.
<laughs> Somebody's asking me to wait. I am waiting. I know this step. This step might be a little, a little difficult. So I'm just giving you guys some time to catch up. Okay. Again, I'm bringing it closer to the camera. Hopefully, you guys can see that my black is a little bit transparent, and I can see some orange and yellow bleeding through. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Later, I'll come back and add another layer. Yeah, guys, you guys have time to catch up. No worry, guys. No worries if you guys are a little behind. Keep, keep on painting. Also, guys, for those of you with kids or little cousins or little nephews and nieces, don't forget that I've got a YouTube channel called Kids Zone Art Apalooza. I know it's a long name. Kids with a Z. Kids Zone Art Apalooza, uh, also with a Z. Art Apalooza also has a Z in it. Long name, I know, but uh, I probably have about 14, 15 videos where I teach kids how to paint things like Super Mario Brothers. SpongeBob is on there, um, Homer Simpson. I've got cute little things like sharks, and um, I've got octopuses and rocket ships. So send your kids on over. <clears throat> Again, gives them some stuff to do while all this stuff is on shutdown. Dang, my stool is squeaky as heck. Okay, guys, when you're ready for the next step, start giving me some, some thumbs up. Patty Lou, uh, send it. Patty Lou, you can send the picture to me on uh, on Messenger. Simply take a picture through your phone, and you can you can send it to me on Messenger right here on on Painting with Jesse, or you can send it to me directly if you are my friend on 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 Facebook on my regular Facebook page. If not, you can send it here on Messenger. So I'm seeing some thumbs up. I'm seeing some happy faces. Are you guys telling me you guys are ready to go? <clears throat> a couple more minutes, and we're gonna do the we'll do the next step. So let me know. You got it, Patty, for sure. <clears throat> okay, guys, come on. Tell me, tell me what. Are we ready for the next step? I'm seeing some thumbs up. Okay, good. Linda, Linda, I want to see some pictures. Send some pictures over of you drunk ladies. All right, Jennifer, cool. Yeah, that looks good. Jennifer just sent me a picture of her canvas, and she's got the ground in place. Yep, that looks good. Make sure you guys are leaving a little space for where your moon's going to be, right? A sun, actually, it's a sun. Unless you guys want it to be a moon. You can make it a moon. Salud, I'm seeing some readies, okay. Okay, Belle, yeah, send it to me on IG. Sounds good. <clears throat> Carrie, you're not ready. Okay, okay. <clears throat> couple more minutes, couple more minutes. Keep on. Keep on doing your thing. Just getting my stuff ready over here. So who can tell me what they think is next? Guess what you guys think is next? Um, somebody asked if they can clean the black brush yet. Uh, sure, you can clean it now. You can clean the black brush if you in a moment, we're going to start working on some trees. And when we do that, we're going to use one of these smaller brushes. Okay? So just let you guys know. <clears throat> yeah, trees are next. That's right. That's right, Adriana. Uh, yep, trees. No, not balloons. Not yet. Okay, birds, <laughs> no, birds are going to be last, birds are last, those are probably going to be the hardest things for you guys to do, probably, probably, all right, everybody, I think we're ready, I think we're ready, no, I've got, hold on, I've got a, so I've got this brush, it's about a quarter of an inch brush, maybe a centimeter thick. It's got this little flat edge, okay? You guys want a brush that looks like this. That's what we're using next. And let me show you what our trees are going to look like. Watch me do them first. I'm gonna do them slowly. There's a little bit of a trick to these. <clears throat> so, uh, my sister's just gray instead of black. Helen, that's okay. Does she not have black or what's happening? 
Tell me, tell me why it's gray instead of black, Helen. Okay, so we're gonna make these trees here in a bit. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work these very slowly. You guys need to pay very close attention. What I would recommend before you go on your canvas, you wanna practice on a different surface. Maybe you guys have another plate. Maybe you guys have a piece of cardboard or you guys have a piece of wood or another piece of paper somewhere. Don't use another canvas. You don't want to waste your canvas. I'm going to practice here first so you guys can see how this works. Okay. Again, skinny brush. This one's about a maybe half an inch, quarter inch. Any of those will work. Um, but, the, but it's a really thin, thin uh, um, brush if you're looking at it from the top. All right. So watch. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, yes, I'm going to start here. Here's what I'm going to do first. You want a little skinny line. You're going to go up. Little skinny line like that. I'm going to do it here. Skinny line. So here's the floor. Here's the bottom. Right here's, here's the bottom. This right here. Here's my tree. Okay, skinny line first. How high? Up to you. Depends on where you're going to put your balloons. So this is probably maybe, maybe about a third up from the bottom of my canvas. I'm not too worried about that. Just don't make them too, too high unless you're really specifically looking for that. <clears throat> okay, now watch. This is where it gets a little tricky. And I know you guys are going to have a hard time seeing this. I'm going to do it here and then I'm going to start doing it here. And take my brush like this at an angle, at an angle like this. I turn, watch, I, I, this is going to be difficult for me to show. I come over, I come over, I come over. I'm just kind of doing these little tiny dips. It's tricky for me to do this on the surface. I just go from one side to the other with this skinny edge of the brush, right? All the way down, all the way down like that. Again, I'm going to do this over here in a second. It's skinnier at the top and it starts to widen as it goes down, right? You can also do this with a smaller brush. If you guys have a little bit of a skinnier brush, you guys can do it with a skinnier brush. So let me pick a skinnier brush to show you guys how that works. I know I'm saying brush a lot. So guess what that means? Don't drink just yet. <laughs> Wait till after you guys see this a few times. So here we go. Here we go. Straight line. Okay. Sure, a tree. Somebody is asking, can um, a tree go in front of the sun? Yes, it sure could. <clears throat> but don't add the tree. So if you're going to put a tree in front of the sun, add that after you've uh, done your sun, okay? So here's, the, here's this. I'm gonna see if I can shine a light on it so you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm using a smaller brush now, same method. I usually do it like this, but I don't wanna block, so I'm gonna come down like this, over to one side, over to the other side, and I just kinda keep doing this. I'm going to go all the way down. And then remember the trees are thinner at the top, right? So they start getting a little bit wider as we go down. So let's say this is my floor, right? And then I can just come in here and I can just clean these up a little bit. Remember guys, practice on a, diff a different surface first. You don't have to do it right on the canvas right away. I know sometimes these take a little practice. There we go, Jennifer. That is a cool looking tree right there. Okay. Now it's transparent. I can see some of the white bleeding through. For now, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to come back in 
Somebody's asking to see the original. Yeah, I'll bring the original up in just a second. Yeah, trees are tricky. I know trees are tricky. Maryland, definitely trees can be a little tricky. But take your time, guys. Take your time. Let me show you guys the original. Okay. Here's the original. I'm going to get ready to go on my actual canvas in just a second. So there's three trees that I'm going to do. Yours can have as many as you want. Okay? Um, but don't make it too hard on yourself by adding a whole bunch of trees. You want to do a few trees, just a few little trees, okay? So I'm going to do this tree here in just a second. I'm using my little, little brush. Again, you use the one that you're more comfortable with, but you do want to use a small brush for this. You don't want to use one of the larger ones because it will not work with those large brushes. So here we go. Here we go. Okay. Whoops, hold on one second. Showtime on the trees. Showtime on the trees. Here we go. So here I'm going to start at the top. Just kind of bring it over a little bit. Swing back over. Don't overthink it, guys. Don't overthink it. Your hands is going to be moving around a little bit like this. You're moving your hand around. Okay. There's a little bit of a, of a randomness to this. Right? It's nature. It's not like perfectly symmetrical. One side isn't going to look exactly like the other side. All the way down. Now my tree's a little transparent. Again, I'm not worried about that. Later on, I'll come back and do another little layer, layer over the top. The only thing that's kind of uh, that you want to shoot for is that they're get going from skinny, from skinnier at the top, and they get wider at the base. That's all you want. And you're going to bring this down into your hill. So the tree's going to go into the hill. Right? You're not going to stop above it. You could if you want, but I like this a little bit better. The trees might be the trickiest part for some of you guys. Okay, I'm going to bring this close to the camera so you guys can see it. <laughs> Sheila says, my tree is like an old Idlewild tree needing water. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it's transparent, right? Again, I can see some of the background colors bleeding through. I'm not worried about that. Later, I'll come in and I'll come in and add another layer to it. Okay, so take your time, guys. Take your time. I'm gonna add another tree. Let me know when you guys are ready for another tree. And let me know when you're ready for another tree. All right, Belle, I'm seeing some thumbs up. Means we're good for the next tree. I'm seeing some thumbs up. Some... <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Don't worry if your trees aren't coming out. Fantastic. They will eventually. Just keep practicing. Keep practicing. All right, my next tree. Next tree coming up. Watch how I do it. So we're going to do... Now we're going to come over across to the other side. I'm going to do this one, the one that's over here. I'm not going to do this one till, till after I do this one. Okay. So again, I start with my really, <laughs> Helen, your tree looks like a mustache. All right. Send me a picture. I want to see this mustache. So this one probably is all, it's almost as tall as this one or as high, right? As this one. So here we go. Draw my little line comes down. Doesn't have to be a perfect straight line or anything like that. Trees are crooked. And if your tree ends up looking crooked, that's actually all right. Here we go. Top of the tree. Just kind of come down a little bit. Just keep going from one side to the other, right? 
come over. The only thing is that these needles are all kind of pointing down. Branches, everything goes down, and it starts getting wider as we get to the bottom. Nice and easy. Don't overthink it. I know this can be a little stressful, but don't worry about it. Just like that. Okay. Your trees are a little deformed. That's all right. There are just there are, you know, trees that are a little bit crooked and misshaped. Maybe the tree went through a fire. <laughs> Maybe there was a fire in your forest, and your trees, you know, took a little beating, but uh, they're still alive, and that counts for a lot. So all the way down into the mountain. Look at that. How about that? <laughs> Somebody says they're still on the first tree. Don't worry, guys, if you're still on the first tree. I'm going to go, okay. Keep working. I'm not going to this third tree until a little bit. I'll give you guys some time to catch up. Catch your breath. I know some of you guys are probably stressing a bit. Don't stress. You guys got this. <clears throat> I believe in you. I'm not seeing too many pictures today. <clears throat> some of you guys are being kind of shy. Last week I got all kinds of pictures, but this time I had like, like 50 pictures. Right now I think I've only got like eight. I don't know what's happening. You guys might be a little, this group might be a little sh more shy today. <clears throat> okay. All right, guys. All right. You guys got this. Guys, I believe in you. I believe in you. All right. Stephanie, what did you say? <laughs> Let me see, Mark. Stephanie, that's not the picture we're painting. What is that? <laughs> All right. Cheers, everybody. Michelle Peterson says her trees look like Christmas trees. All right. Cool. That works. Maybe uh, these hot air balloons are flying up, <clears throat> flying around during Christmas. Uh, let's, let's see, Helen. Okay, Helen. All right. All right. Okay, Helen. I think you did that on, is that on your camera, or is that on? I can't, I don't want to click on it because it'll blow it up and then I might lose, you, get, lose the rest of the group. So it's hard for me to tell. But all right, Helen. Keep working on it a little bit. All right. Looks good. Mustache tree. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, just make them pointier at the top. So, Helen, if you're listening, that tree that you got right there, simply add a little section at the top that makes it skinnier, right? So you got like the, let's say your tree is right here right now. That tree that you're showing me is from here down. Add a little point on top. Again, makes it a little skinnier. All right, Lydia. Okay, cool. But Helen, if you get what I'm saying, so your let's say your tree is right here. Right? Imagine that that's the top of your tree right now. Just add a little point on top that gets a little mm -hmm. narrower. And then if you want, I don't know how thick you made it because I can't see all your canvas, add some little points that stick out here and there. Okay? So add some points that kind of pop out randomly just to, to give it a little bit. It's a little, it's really uniform right now, so give it some randomness. All right? Cool. All right, Lydia, looking good. <laughs> Let's see. Brianna says, my tree, <laughs> all right, I can't, <clears throat> I can't see that live, Brianna, but I get what you're saying. Send me a picture. I want to see. I want to see. Cheers, Susie. All right, Stephanie. Yeah, I like that, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. We ready for the next tree? Are we ready for the next tree? Well, we're going. Next tree coming up. So we got this little tree. It's going to sit about right here, <clears throat> right? It's going to sit about right here. So I'm going to go like this. Same thing. Little skinny line that comes down. This one's going to be a little, little thinner than the other two, so i got to be careful. And again, I'm just going to work from one side to the other side. I try not to block what I'm doing. 
I'm just using little tiny points or little corners of my brush now. So I'm trying to keep it nice and thin. Remember guys, painting is a little bit like anything else. If you don't do it often, you lose your touch for it. <clears throat> the more you practice, the better you get. Um, your brain starts to starts to adapt and start seeing things like perspective and dimensions and um, proportion. All that over time becomes a little easier for your brain to see. So the more you practice, the better you will get at it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> There's that. There is that right there. So when you once you've got all your trees up, take a moment to assess it. I'm gonna get in front of the camera a little bit, <clears throat> just because I gotta kind of come over and see what's happening. So you want to take a look at your painting proportions, you know how how wide they are, etc. Um, and then make little adjustments if you need to. What I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna go back over my other trees over here, the one that the first one, and make it a little bit darker. So now on this second pass, all I gotta do is be careful that I don't add any extra thickness to it because I like the way it looks now, right? All I'm doing, by thickness I mean this, width. Okay, I don't want to add any more width to my tree unless I'm purposely going in there trying to make it bigger. All I want to do here is go over what I currently have and um, just make everything a little darker, a little more intense. Here we go, just like that. I you guys can see, but it's getting darker. I'm not seeing all that orange in coming from behind the, you know, the yellow and the orange is behind the tree. So it's just getting it, making it more intense. Like that. And just like that. Cool. Cool. Bell says thick is good, okay. <laughs> All righty then. Next, next tree over here doing the same thing. There we go. Over. Again, I'm not trying to make any real changes to the tree. I just want to go over the same. I, mean, I, I can make some little changes if I want as I go down. But maybe it's. I can use this to make adjustments if you're looking to make adjustments. But really right now, all I'm really trying to do is add another layer over the top of what I've already done. There we go. Just like that. Darkening up the tree. Next, I'm going to do the little one. We'll go with the little one. All right, guys. Let me know. I know you guys are probably... Still working on your trees. Let me know if you guys, when you guys are ready for the, we're going to start working on, on uh, we're actually going to work on the moon here in just a moment. I want to put the moon down first. Sun, sorry, sun. Unless you specifically want a moon on yours. Won't be much different. Oh no, sorry guys. One more thing we want to do before we do that step. No, never mind. We're good. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, cool. It looks beautiful. Fantastic. All right. Okay, Carrie, I'll take a look. Let's see. Cool. All right, everybody. <clears throat> so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on our moon, our sun. Dang, what do I keep saying moon? We're going to do our, our sun here, okay? And we're not ready for that yet, but just so you guys know, we're going to be using a little bit of white and some yellow that we're going to mix together. Okay, so again, so you guys know what the next step is. Sheila, my baby tree turned into a blob. Let's see it, Sheila, send me a picture. Send me a picture. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? Okay, Tatiana, thank you. Tatiana, who are you painting with? Is my nephew there? All right, guys. Let me know if we're ready for the next for the next uh, step. Okay, start giving me thumbs up. Say, say ready. Say, tell me ready when you guys are good to go. Okay, I know 
I know you guys are, uh, some of you guys might be struggling a little bit with the trees. All right. Remember, guys, we're taking our time. Practice makes perfect. I'm seeing some thumbs up. All right. Some happy faces, some sad faces. All good. All good. Helen, my third tree came out way nicer. Okay, good. Okay. That's how, that's how it works sometimes, Helen. Sometimes it works like that. Ready, Freddy. Carrie Miller, need a refill. If you guys haven't already, salud. Time for whatever you're drinking. Even if you're drinking water, tea, soda, salud, everybody. Mm. Do you notice I'm only taking a little tiny bit at a time? Otherwise, I won't be able to finish this. Okay, Rebecca. What do we got? Can't see what that is just yet. Okay, Tatiana, cool. All right. Cool. Is, uh, is Ruben painting too? All right, here we go, guys. So I'm going to be taking my, let's see here. Okay, here's what I'm going to recommend for this set. You want a small brush. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Let me hold the painting, the original painting up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, we got this round, almost like it's, it's half, about half of a circle, okay, that we're going to be making. Now you can freehand this, you could, if you want. If you have a plate, eh, that's, this, is, this would be too big for what I'm working with, right? You'd want something a little smaller. Um, but if you guys have something that you can use to trace, right? Like maybe something like this, something a little larger, a small dish plate or something like that. Um, I'm going to freehand it. I'm going to show you how I do this. But what you want to do, you can also use a, actually I wouldn't recommend using a pencil. Don't use a pencil because we're working with really white or really light paint and it's going to, uh, you're going to be able to see the pencil mark bleed through it, come through and it's going to be hard to cover. So I'm taking one of my smaller brushes. I'm going to take some white, taking some white, bringing it over here. I'm going to take some yellow, some of my yellow here, okay. and I'm going to mix the two together. You guys can make your sun as light as you'd like or as yellow as you'd like. Maybe yours is going to be a really intense yellow. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Now, if you're doing this freehand, you want to start small and slowly make it larger. The reason why you want to start small, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. You want to start small because if you start too big and you don't like the size of it, you want to bring it down, that's going to be really difficult to do. So slow. This one's not a round brush. I'm using, somebody asked, is this a round brush? No, it's one of my flat square ones. You can use a round one for this. If you have a round brush, um, you can use that as long as it's, it's smallish, okay? Make it a small one. So watch what I do first. So again, what I'm about to do is this right here, right? I start small first, smaller than what the, the final product is going to look like. So I do this. Okay. The reason why I do it small first, now I can adjust, slowly make it bigger. Okay, and I can, if, if for example, let's say that this original line looked more like this, let's say I did this, it was all kind of crooked, right? I could then come in and start making little adjustments to fix it as I make it larger. Start doing that, right? I start to make adjustments to fix it as I make it larger. So here, that's already pretty round and pretty good. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger by adding little layers to it. Okay. Okay, like that. All I'm doing is adding layers over the top, increasing the size. And at the same time, fixing any problems that I might have with it. Right? I'll take a little step back and I'll look at it. Sorry, I'm going to get in front of the camera here because it's hard to look at it from an angle and fix it. 
there we go. Once I've got this, the size and shape that I want, I want, then I go ahead and fill it in. like that and on this first pass it's going to be transparent just like everything else is or most everything else is on here I don't worry about that right now you just want to worry about the size the smoothness of that curve and then that you fill in the inside even if it's not necessarily really uniform all right so like that take your time guys take your time to catch up I'm gonna take this off the easel so I can look at it sorry I'll put it back on in just a second I just want to make some adjustments I'm just making an adjustment to the to the right side it's not as round as I want it to be there we go okay Sheila looks good looks really good Sorry guys, so if you guys are sending me your pictures on Messenger, I'm not getting everybody's pop up. They're automatically popping up. And I see some of yours, right? Sheila, Rebecca, Jennifer. I've seen some of your stuff, but I'm not seeing. Some of you guys are telling me on this, here on, um, on the live session that you're sending me, <clears throat> that you're sending me pictures, but I'm not seeing them. Maybe you guys are sending them to my, um, my personal Facebook, which is okay, no big deal. I just can't see them right now. Okay, how we doing guys? Yeah, Bell says, <clears throat> Well, you guys can see in the, in the, in the uh, feed there what I was saying. She has, she has some good commentary to make, I think. All right, guys. I don't know if I've missed any questions. So a couple of things, guys. It's often hard for me to see all the questions that come up. So if I miss one of your questions, it isn't that I'm ignoring you. I'm just, you know, as I go, as, as people ask questions, I'll scroll through. And I don't always see them. So just keep that in mind. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just not. I, I didn't see it. If I see your question pop up. I will, uh, I will answer you guys. But uh, once you've done the sun, once you've got your sun in place, <clears throat> simply take your little brush, put it back into the cup. Later on, we're going to come in and do another layer over the sun so it's more intense. But what I do want you guys to do at this point, once you're done with the sun, you're going to take the same brush that you used earlier to do the floor. You're going to take a little bit more black. And... All you're going to do is come in and do another layer of black over the ground so that it's a lot deeper black. It's more, it's uh, more uniform, right? So you're taking out all of that, uh, any of the yellow or orange that's coming through. Sorry if I'm blocking, but I'm trying to block the canvas. <clears throat> you guys tell me if I'm, if I'm in your way, all right? So again, all I'm doing right now is adding another layer to the bottom here so that my ground is nice and uniform, it's more intense, and so that I don't see any of that um, yellow coming through. All right, I'm digging that. You want... <clears throat> Do we want, so Sheila asks, do we want the sun to be the size of dip, as in like a dip uh, container? Is that what you mean? Okay, Bell, you're sending yours on Messenger? Okay, cool. Send, send those on Messenger. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, guys, so how are we? Where are we, guys? Let me know if you're caught up. Give me thumbs up if you tell me if you're caught up. Thumbs up means we are caught up, all right? Happy faces means you're happy. Hearts means you're having a great time, okay? Sorry. Thumbs up means you're caught up. Hearts means you're having a great time. So let me know. Let me know. <laughs> all right. So just so you guys know, I think I already mentioned it, so you guys are know, know what's going on. When I look on my screen, I'm seeing what happened about 30, 40 seconds ago, right? My instruction on here is delayed in comparison to what I'm seeing here, which is kind of cool. 
because I can see your guys' comments and your thumbs up and all that other stuff kind of real time. So, awesome. Seeing lots of hearts. Good. All right, all right. So I think it's time for a little sip, a little sippy sip. Okay, a little sippy sip. Here we go. Cheers. Salud. Just a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. So somebody asked. So Sheila's asking where the sun should be. Okay. Yeah. You want to put the sun where the little dip, little dip in between the two little hills is, right? And again, if you're working on that now. Sorry, guys, if I lost you, hopefully I did not lose you. Resume. Am I still on here? Tell me if I'm still... Guys, give me some thumbs up. I want to make sure that I'm still live. Somebody... There we go. Okay, I think we're good. There was a little bit of an interruption that came through, and I wasn't sure if I lost everybody. Woo! All right. Next step, everybody, we're going to be making some balloons. Who's, like, going, oh, my gosh. I'm seeing some people saying their broadcast stopped. Hopefully you guys are all back on. Dang. I lost a few of you guys just there. Um, okay. I'm going to give it a minute to re so you guys can refresh your screens if you lost me. Okay? Give it a I'm going to give it a minute if you lost me. Let's see. Let's see. Jennifer, are you back on? Let's see. I think I might have lost some of you guys. Hopefully not. <clears throat> but our balloons are next. <laughs> okay, good. I'm back. All right. All right. Good. So I'm going to give you guys about four minutes to catch up. All right. Five minutes to catch up. But check it out. So you guys start getting ready. Check it out. Check it out. So you guys start getting ready. When we do the balloons... I'm going to show you how to do some freehand. I'm going to do one freehand. But so you guys don't struggle with the roundness of your balloons. Again, you're going to be using a surface like this. Like let's say you're going to do this. You're going to trace it with your pencil or your Sharpie. If you trust yourself enough, you're going to do a nice little round circle. You're not going to shake <laughs> if you're a little too buzzed um, when we do the balloon. Again, I'm not going just yet on the balloon. I realize I lost some of you guys. Um, had a little bit of an interruption there but I'm giving it some time for you guys to get back on. But so you guys know, so you guys start getting ready if you're not quite here yet, if you're not, if you're not caught up. So you guys that are ready or still kind of listening, we're gonna be using surfaces like this of varying sizes to make different size balloons. However, if you guys want to do maybe one large balloon, that would work too. At the beginning, all we're going to worry about is the top part of the balloon this part right here we're not worried about the basket we're not worried about how the baskets are attached we're simply worried about the shape of our balloons you're going to start with a round circle and then you're going to add these bottom parts and we're going to do it in pencil first okay so yeah various sizes is always great yep 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 so again get your get your um whatever it is you're going to be using I've got these different bottles that I can use, right? Um, and I'm going to have, so the one that I have, the one that's on top, the highest balloon for me is the largest. So that's the one that I'm going to do freehand. All right, actually, no, no, sorry. I'll do this one freehand. One of the other ones freehand. So you, I know most of you guys are going to be tracing something, so I'm going to do the first one traced out. And what I'm going to do is, give me a second, so I can figure this out. Hold on, hold on. Would you guys be getting your stuff ready? Let's see. Yeah. That's about right. Okay. So again... I'm going to be working on this top one first. What I want you guys to use, I've got this thing filled with these little flowers that we sometimes use on some of my events, some of my paint party events. But this bottom here is pretty large. What you're going to do here is you're going to position 
your big balloon first. Find where you're going to put that big balloon. Okay? Then you're going to trace it. Again, you can use a Sharpie. Sorry, I'm going to pull the canvas off here and bring it, put it on my lap. All this is is a trace. All right, don't stress. If you can't see what I'm doing, it'll make sense in a moment. I'm actually going to do it with my black marker. Again, guys, don't stress. If you can't see what I'm doing, it'll make sense in a moment. I'm taking my little round Yeah, my little, my little, um, whoops, like a little can here. Struggling, struggling. Here we go. All I'm going to do is make a perfect circle. You guys will see what I'm talking about in a second. I know I'm blocking your views. A simple trace. If you're working on an easel, it'll work best if you put this on your lap and then go. All right. Here we go. bring this forward a bit so there's my large there's the beginning of my large balloon okay that's the beginning of it once you've got your circle and we're gonna do one at a time once you've got your circle you're gonna add the other details so in this case I'm gonna come in with my pencil first <clears throat> I'm gonna make some I'm gonna add, make some additions to this. It's gonna make it look like this shape, right? So again, I'm doing it with my pencil first. Watch me do this first, okay? Watch me do it first. Come in, down. I, I'm gonna use a marker here in a second. And I can't get right in front of it because I don't want to block you guys, so hopefully it's pretty symmetrical. Okay. Actually, I want to make this a little bit thinner. You can erase on your canvas as long as, as long as the surface is already dry. You can erase. So if you make any any mistakes or you want to make adjustments, you can. Okay. This will all make sense in just a bit. There we go. Okay. That looks like Okay. So it looks somewhat like that. Okay, in a bit, we'll come in and we're gonna fill all this in in black. <clears throat> we're also gonna add our little basket and then we're gonna attach that to, to the uh, balloon. Okay, and that, so that's the shape of my balloon for now. This is my first balloon. Your balloon might look a little different than this. It doesn't have to look just like mine, right? They're all different shapes. Again, I'm gonna show you guys Hopefully I don't block the screen there, but I'm going to show you guys what that looks like <clears throat> on the original. So I'm noticing a difference on my original. This part right here is a little narrower. That's okay. These uh, hot air balloons come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes, so I'm not worried about that too much. Okay. Once I've got this, I'm going to go ahead and add my little basket. A little basket is just a little rectangle or square shape underneath it. So again, with my pencil, I'm going to add that little basket just a little bit below. A little bit underneath. 
ada oke okay. one second it's a little further away from the screen let me bring that up close I just realized the paint the picture is pretty far away okay you guys all see that like that once we do that, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to, I'm going to switch, I'm going to grab a brush, now watch guys, I'm using one of my smaller brushes for this now, okay, I'm going to use one of these, I want to take some black, oops, where did my black go? Guys, I, I hope I didn't lose you guys. I need to make an adjustment really quick on my phone. Keep, do not leave me. See if I can do this without losing some of you guys. If I lose you, refresh your screen. I'll be back. I'm not sure what's happening. My phone's giving me a little weird message on here. And I'm a little bit concerned that if I try to do what it's asking me to, I might lose you. If I lose you, do not leave. Come back. Okay, do not leave. Give me a few minutes to make this adjustment. Hold on. Okay, guys, hopefully you're still here with me. Refresh your screens. Refresh your screens. Are you guys with me? Okay, I think you guys, I think I'm back, and I apologize if I lost you guys, but my phone was giving me a really weird error, and I had to fix something, because it looked like I was going to lose you guys permanently, so let me, I'm going to give you guys a few minutes, I'm going to give it a few minutes to let everybody get back on, dang it, this uh, Facebook Live stuff is a little tricky, Facebook Live is a little tricky, all right, I've only got 24 of you back, and I think there were about 30 of you guys that were painting with me, so we're going to take a little moment to take a little sip. That was a close call. Yeah, man, that was weird. Also, on my thing over here was telling me that I was about to lose the broadcast, so... Do IG... <laughs> Susie says, do IG Instagram Live. Maybe it's what I'm going to have to do, because, uh, yeah, that was a little scary. Man... That was scary. Cheers, everybody. Salud. Bell says you're worth the wait. Woo yeah, yeah. All right, everybody. Salud. All right, here we go, guys. Let me know if we're ready for the next step. Ruben, Linda, are you guys still on here with us? I don't see you guys' comments down here. Tatiana, are you guys on here? Come on. Looks like I got most of you guys back. Okay, hopefully that doesn't happen again. If I lose you guys at any point, I will be here. I will come back. Do not leave me. Come back. Okay, we're resuming. So I'm taking a little brush. Everybody take a deep breath. That was close. Taking a little brush. I'm going to take some black. I'm going to go around the outside first on the inside of my, mark, my pen mark. I'm going to go all the way around, careful so that I don't go on the outside, right, just like a coloring book. All the way down, there we go, I'm going to do this. This all the way down. There we go. So once I've done this, I just want to go ahead and fill all my uh, balloon. I fill it all in like this. This layer's a little extra thick. I'm all right with that. There we go, like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a little smaller brush, my little skinny 
small, tiny brush. Okay, Sheila, so if you guys missed what brush I was using, I'm using one of my smaller ones, one of my little flat ones. In this case, I use my half inch brush, but if you guys have, actually, no, sorry, I used, um, I think I used my number two. My, my brush is pretty old, so I can't see my markings on it anymore. I use my number two or my number four little flat brush, okay? But again, don't worry about it too much. Just grab a little flat brush that you can do the inside with. And then I'm using a little tiny skinny one, my little pointy one, to do the, uh, the inside here of my basket. All right? Now, later, later, guys, we got some people we're going to put inside of our basket. Yeah, you got, got a couple, we got some romantic couples going around. We got a solo guy over here. Can't tell how many people are in that one, but you know, we're gonna be adding some people to these guys. Then, okay, once I've done this, where I've filled in both the top of the balloon and the bottom of the, uh, the, the basket, I'm just gonna attach, we got some ropes, right? Attaching. the basket to the balloon. Otherwise, that basket's gonna go flying. Okay. You guys see that? You guys see that? You guys see that? Okay, cool. For now though, <clears throat> we're not gonna add our people until, until the end. Once we've done that, I'm gonna get I'm gonna block your view a little bit. Sorry, I just want to make some adjustments right here. There we go. Once we uh, we got our big balloon in place, we can do our smaller ones. Remember, all of our little balloons are going to be different shapes. This one's going to be really round. These are all kind of similar, but not necessarily exactly the same. All right. All right. All right. How are we doing, everybody? How are we doing? All right, everybody, still fabulous, filling in the balloon. All right, all right, awesome. So it looks like I got most of you guys back. So hopefully, hopefully I don't get any messages where, like last week, where people are going, hey, where'd you go? So last week I made the mistake of, uh, I started the video on this side, and then before I transferred everything to the front of the table, I. Um, I shut the camera off thinking that I could just resume, would pause and I would resume, but it didn't do that. So I lost quite a few people that were planning on painting. That was a little sad. But that was the first time using Facebook Live, so I wasn't quite sure how it worked out. I still don't know how it works completely, but we're figuring it out. Okay, how are we doing on that balloon? Is everybody done with their first balloon? Are we ready for the next balloon? Tell me yes or no. So for those of you that don't know, we've been painting for about an hour and a half. That's pretty good. We're doing good. An hour and a half painting. We still got about another, probably another 45 minutes. I think we'll be all right. All right, guys. So here we go. 
Okay, nope, not ready yet. We still we got a couple of no's coming up. So the next brush is going to be, I'm sorry, the next, um, the next balloon is going to be one of the smaller ones, right? If you're following the same pattern that I am, you're following the same kind of layout. I'm going to do this perfect little round one over here. Okay, so for that one, I'm going to use, I don't even know if I've got the same surface that I used last time, but yeah, there we go. <clears throat> I'm going to grab this. It's not quite as the, not quite the same size, but it's almost the same size. I'm going to use this for that circle, okay? So you guys just get your get, get yours ready. Okay. <clears throat> a couple more minutes. So questions, guys? Comments? Are we happy? Are we having a good time over here? I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time painting with you guys. Just going to do a check on my phone. To make sure that I'm not about to lose you guys. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, somebody, so Sheila mentioned, mentioned that if once, once she, uh, the paint dries a little bit, that you can use a Sharpie to touch up the edges. You could, you could definitely do that. You can also use the, the Sharpie for the, for the little ropes and stuff. Absolutely. Absolutely. So again, folks, don't forget, invite your friends, family members. We're going to be doing this pretty regularly, so, you know, let's have some fun. The bigger, bigger the group, the better. But all right, we're about ready for the next one. Same process, you want to find your spot. So you can have a balloon over here, like I do on the original. Your next balloon might be over here, your next balloon's over, over here, maybe it's up over here, maybe it's up in the corner, maybe you only see, only see part of it, maybe you only see a little part of it over here. Um, but I'm going to put mine right about where I put the original on mine, which is about right here. Hold on, stabilize this so it doesn't move on me actually i'm gonna have to bring i'm gonna do it right here but i'm gonna bring the canvas and put it on my lap so i can do have a little stable stable uh i can get a, I, I can do a little bit more of a stable uh, trace if it's right in front of me as opposed to me doing it from the side so bear with me guys you'll see what i'm doing in just a second and i'm doing this with my sharpie with my little marker all the way around Oops, I think I left, I left my marker out without the cap and it dried out a bit on me. That's okay. That's all right. I think you guys will still be able to see what I did. Check it out. So I did it right here. Okay. This one's going to be my really round balloon, this one here. So it's a perfect circle. So I'm not going to add any of what I added over here. Okay, just a nice little circle right there. And you guys know what we did. If you guys are a little bit behind, don't worry. I'm not. I'm going to give it some time here. But if you guys are caught up and ready for this, just go ahead and fill in. So do your circle, and then you want to fill it in. Right? You want to fill in your the inside of the circle. And I'm using the same little brush that I used earlier. It's not my pointy skinny brush. It's just one of my smaller flat brushes. The recommendations that I make for you guys to have in your toolkit aren't necessarily exactly what you need. I understand that some of you guys, you know, had, had to get your stuff for this. Um, and maybe you weren't able to get exactly the brushes that I recommended. Those were just general recommendations. They didn't have to be exactly those brushes. All right. So again, I'm just going around the inside of my balloon here, making a nice little circle. So watch what I do, guys. I take my hand, and I'll put it on the canvas, and I use that to stabilize my brush stroke. Look at that. Cool. Just like that. Just like that. 
Okay. And then what do I do after this? Well, I got my little basket down here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go a little lower on this one. Right about right here. This back the basket's a little bigger. Okay. Also, when I'm drawing, I put my hand on the canvas and draw from there. Okay. Now I can take my little skinny, skinny brush. So I'll give it a minute. Probably a little lower than I want it. But in a moment, I'm going to take my skinny brush here, my little pointy one, to fill in. First, I'm going to outline this. Okay, like that. Fill it in. There we go. Just like that. I'm going to give you guys a minute to catch up. Except you guys are all busy working on your on your balloons. So on this one here, before you guys add the ropes, look what I did on the, on the original. So on the original, the ropes. So there's a little. This, I'm gonna do this here in a second. There's a little line that goes across, right here. So here's your basket, about half, about halfway between the balloon. Maybe not quite halfway, but close to halfway between the balloon and the basket. There's a little line across. That's where all the ropes connect to. Okay, and you got this little, this little, uh, it's like a fill tube or whatever for the balloon that we're going to be adding here in a moment. Okay, so just so that you guys are uh, aware, that's how we're going to do this. Just giving you guys a couple minutes to fill those in. Okay, fill in your balloons. What's up, cousin Eric? My cousin Eric joined the group. Gotta give you guys some likes on these things. And some love. All right, Bell says she's having a great Saturday. Got to give that some love. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, folks. In a moment, we're going to do the little line right there. So get ready for that. If you guys are low on your drink, get your drink all uh you know fixed up fill it back up and uh yeah we're gonna be doing a little we're gonna be adding some little touch-ups here to our balloon so a little accessorizing of that balloon so it looks like a hot air balloon My mom's watching, folks. My mom's on here watching. Cool. All right, everybody. So next step. Next step, next step. Still same balloon. Don't worry. Pay attention to this part. You do want to pay attention here. So in between right here, between our basket and our balloon. <laughs> Carrie, birds are coming soon. I'm taking my little skinny brush, little tiny skinny pointy brush. And I'm going to do make a little line right here. Not quite the width of our basket, but close. Don't worry about it too much. If yours is the same size, is the same size as your basket, width-wise, or if it's a little smaller than that, no big deal. So we got that little line. Hopefully you guys can see it right between the basket and the balloon. <clears throat> Next, we're going to add some ropes. We're going to add. We're going to go like this. One. And I'll bring it up close in a moment. Two. Okay. Look at that. You guys see that? 
Two more. Two more. One. Two. See that? Yep, yep. Okay. Now, this all connects to our basket on the sides. One, whoops, and two. Kind of like that. And then we need this little thing in the center, a little fill hose too, whatever the heck that is, that this is called. Just like that. Basket a bit. Look at that. Look at that. <clears throat> cool, we're getting there. We are getting there. So you guys see the pattern. The next thing we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna do another balloon here in just a second. The balloons can all look the same in your case. If you want all your balloons to match, that wouldn't be a problem. If you want them to look a little different. Up to you guys. I'm going to make a really small one up here, just like on the original. For that, I'm going to take a smaller bottle, right? And I'm going to go ahead and trace it. Sheila, awesome. Awesome picture. I just noticed your picture. Jennifer, oh, looking good, Jennifer. Yeah. yeah. The ladies are doing good. I like it. Your balloons look awesome. Both of you guys are what is that picture on the bottom? I'm afraid to open the picture. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose uh, the broadcast. So maybe I won't. Hold on. Let's give it a shot. Oh, cool. sorry guys. Looks like I lost you again. Oh my goodness. What the heck is going on? Are you guys still there? Do I still have you guys? Thumbs up if I got you. That wasn't. That was not my fault. That was coincidence. What I was doing did not affect what just happened. It's my phone again being weird. So, again, guys, if I lose you, do not, do not leave. Oh, goodness. All right, guys, sorry if I lost you. Sorry if I lost you. So here's what's happening. Apparently, even though I'm not necessarily, I'm not recording this, Facebook Live is taking up memory space on my phone. I did not realize that that was happening. Um... And so what it's having me do is, is delete apps so I don't use up my memory. And I've got a bunch of memory on my phone, but, but um, I got a lot of it used up. Anyhow, I didn't realize that this is a live session, so I'm not sure why it's telling me to do that. But I'm, as I'm sitting there in between those interruptions, I'm, I'm removing apps. So we're going to have to pick this up a little bit so I don't lose you guys again. But can't make any promises. Just do not leave me. Do not leave me. Come back. I will keep deleting the apps until we can... Get this uh, all done. Okay, so moving on, guys, moving on. Take my little one here, my little bottle. And I know I'm still waiting for some of you guys to catch, to get jump on here. I know I'm waiting for some of you guys to get back. But you gotta move on a little bit just so that I don't lose all of you. So I'm making, so I'm making my little small trace here for my balloon up on top. So I'm going to mark the shot. I'm going to have to use blue. Technical difficulties, folks. Technical difficulties. All right, we'll figure it out. What color am I using here? Got some technical difficulties. It's all part of how this goes, I guess. Okay, we're going to have to wing this one. You guys probably you guys can't see my little circle, but I got a little circle right there. Taking my little skinny brush, little skinny, skinny brush. I'm going to use that to trace this. I need to go around my pencil mark. So sorry, folks. I know that the interruptions are probably a little bit, a little bit, um, well, they're an interruption, first off. But then some of you guys are probably going, what the heck is going on? A little bit annoying. But, um, yeah, still trying to figure things out, working the kinks out of it. This is the only second time I'm using Facebook Live. <clears throat> Upgrade, homie. <laughs> oh, yes, for some of you guys, when I lose you, use those times to catch up. So you guys, you guys that are back on with me, 
Notice that I just did um, the little small one up on top. Okay, now I gotta speed things up a little bit because I don't wanna have any more of those interruptions. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this little, I promise you guys that by the next one, I'll have it all figured out. Again, I did not realize that Facebook Live uses um, uses these little, uses my memory. It's not storing it on my phone, so I'm not sure what's up. Anyhow, it is what it is. So I just made that little balloon. You can add a little basket below it. Probably a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. You guys make some variation of this. That's good. So we got the balloon, we got the basket. And then, yeah, next time we might have to use IG. I don't know. But then I'm gonna have to figure that out that out too. So I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just get some more practice in on, on Facebook Live. I can do some practice on my own where I only I, I view my my practice videos. I can I can do that. But uh, anyway, yeah, I've lost I lost a few of you guys. I probably lost about four or five of you guys. So hopefully you guys all make it back. But um, sorry about that again. So here's my third little balloon. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give it five minutes, folks, before I start with the next balloon, but we do want to do that kind of quickly, so again, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to go through that little interruption again, I don't know how many of you guys will be able to make it back, but, so I'm on my third balloon, I'm going to be on my fourth one here in a little bit, that one, if you guys are all ready for it, go ahead and start making it right around in here somewhere, so this one's going to be my smallest one, okay? Let's see, somebody suggested we can all be live. Yeah, I like the live part. It's pretty cool. If we do Zoom, yeah, we could all see each other. That would be hilarious. I'd see a bunch of little pictures on my... I would see a bunch of little pictures of all you guys painting at the same time. That'd be, that would be funny. Um, yeah, YouTube Live, maybe. YouTube Live would probably work. That's a good suggestion. I like that. I'll figure it out. But uh, anyway, folks, so we got three, balloon, we got three balloons up. You guys are ready for the next one. Go ahead and start doing it right here. You guys all, already saw the process. Go ahead and make it there. And in about two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and do mine right there. And then we've got the birds. We've got birds to make. Okay, And that's going to be pretty much the end of our painting session. And I'm not trying to rush it. But I'm, I am trying to avoid having any, any more issues. So you know what I mean. You guys, you guys get it. You guys get me. You guys know what's up. Okay, yeah, well, we'll get it all dialed in, and it'll, it'll hopefully flow a little bit better next time. Okay. Cool. So, here we go, guys. Here we go. Fourth balloon coming up. Give me some thumbs up. I think I got most of you guys back. Thumbs up if you guys are ready. <laughs> Bell says, got nothing else to do. Nowhere to go, but that's a good thing, I guess. That's a good thing for me. You guys, you guys wait around for me to come back. All right. Yeah, Tatiana, Zoom is free for, uh, I think for, uh, but I think it's only free for like 30 minutes. Anything over 30 minutes may not be, but I'll look into it. You guys, you guys probably know a little, some of you guys would know a little bit better. Zoom, I think it, if it's over 30 minutes, I think you have, then they charge you. But um, we will figure it out. Another balloon coming up. So, this one's going to be a little bit smaller than the other. Yeah, I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller, just for my sake. And I'm going to go ahead and freehand this one. Okay. Do my little circle first. Again, I'm using the palm of my hand to, uh, to uh, support my hand. Make my little circle, and I come in and fill it in. What are you guys saying? What are you guys saying? There we go all the way around. Just like that. Oh, you touch up this head. Sorry if I'm blocking you. Just give me a moment to fix that. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to add my little. bottom part I 
Yes. There we go. I'm going to straighten that out a little bit. Less of an angle. There we go. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm going to look at it right directly. I know it's a little crooked. i got to fix it. All right. My little basket. My little ropes. And there's my little guy. Okay, Brianna, so it was, it was, uh, did you do it, Brianna, did you do it through school? Let me know if you did it through school or what you did it with. I'm just curious. I'll look into it, guys, but yeah, definitely. Um, uh, we will get it figured out. So, there's my last little balloon. Three minutes, guys, three minutes, and we're going to talk about some birds. I know you guys have been waiting for the birds. And I know some of you guys are catching up on the balloons, but even if you're not quite caught up on all the balloons, when I start talking about the trees, I'm uh, about the birds, pay attention. You can always go back to the balloons and fix those up afterwards, okay? So in a moment, about two, three minutes, we're going to start talking about the birds. The bird For those birds, so that you guys know what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using my little, tiny, tiny brush. Same one that I've been using for the... The smallest brush that you got is probably what you want to use. The smallest, skinniest brush that you have. All right? So, so uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do that. Let's see what's happening. Okay, Brandon, so you did it with dance. Okay, okay. All right. Helen says, my sister said you better. She doesn't want to lose you. Now, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right here, guys. I'll be right here until we're all done. Even if, you know, we have to keep refreshing the screen to get it all to work. Um... We, um, we'll, we'll get this done today. Don't even worry about it. I'm just saying, though, the less interruptions we have, the better. Because each time, each time we get interrupted, I lose some of you. I can see it on the screen, right? But uh, anyhow, we're going to talk about birds in just a second. Birds in a moment. All right. Since I haven't had a little sippy sip in a moment, we're about to have one. Salud, everybody. Salud. Thank you guys for joining me today. This also makes my Saturday. It's fun. We're all stuck at home. Can't really go anywhere. Salud to everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, guys, let's talk about those birds. And I'm hoping we don't get interrupted while I'm talking about these guys. So again, even if you're not done with your balloons, pay attention to this step. You already have seen the balloons plenty, so you can always go back and, um, and fix those, right? Adjust those. The little birds are little, they're almost like little tiny, just chicken scratches almost. But there is a process to this. Each bird has a little center, and then it's got a pair of wings. One little line for the center, and then it's got wings coming off in one direction or another. So I'm going to try and show you up close. Little center, and then it's got wings. Center, then the wings, right? A little center right here, center line, then some wings. And this one, for example, has the center line across like this, and the wings go off, go off to the sides. Every one of these birds, with maybe one or two exceptions, is exactly like that. I'm going to show you guys 
here on my uh, plate. And I'll do this a few times, different shapes, different types of birds, um, etc. Let me hold the original up here. Back this guy up a little tiny bit. All right, Sheila, that looks good. Cool. So some birds. Get different kinds of birds. Now I'm going to make these a little bit bigger on here so you guys can see them. But they're as small as you can make them on your canvas. One example of a bird. We got the center, the body of the bird like this. All these are little lines, little tiny lines. We're going to do the little wings. There's a wing. Okay. That's one bird. Okay. Another way that you can do this. Body. There's the body. Always do the body first. And all it is is a little tiny line. And this bird has the wings going almost in a little V. From a distance, it's all are going to look fantastic, like fantastic bird. When you get up close, they're going to look like little chicken scratches. So again, that was this is how I did this one. Body first, and the wings come up off the top. Right? For the birds, a little tiny, tiny brush, little tiny brush. Skinny, skinny, pointy brush, okay? You're going to be using the very point of my brush, of the brush, of your brush. All right, another bird. Body, always, the body always has a line. Always has a little line. Okay? And then you got some wings coming off a little. Now the wings, in this case, for example, the wings are going to come down, a little V-shape. This bird's flapping his wings down. And so you just start making a whole bunch of these wherever you want. This bird's flying in a different direction, opposite direction. Okay, now this wing is going to be a little bit different. Whoops. Wing, and then the wing kind of goes back a little bit. And goes up and down. So that's all these birds are. Just a variety of these body. And then we're gonna go. A body and two wings. You start adding a whole bunch of these. And they're gonna start looking like little flocks of birds. Okay, so here again, we're gonna make this one again. The line, the wings come off to the side. We'll make this one right there. Body, wing, wing. So just keep making a whole bunch of those. Um, maybe one or two of them might be just a little line, a little line across, and then maybe a little He's flying sideways, you can just barely make them out. All right, so yeah, you can use a Sharpie if you want it. If you got a little tiny skinny um, pen or something like that, use that. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start doing them over here on my canvas. I know it's going to be a little difficult for you to see. I'm going to try to um, bring the camera a little closer so you guys can see as I'm doing these on the canvas. See what that, I gotta see what that looks like on my screen here. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. So here's one little bird. Got my body, I got little, my little body, and the wings. Okay. Then I got this bird over here, maybe. Everybody's good birds are going to be in different spots. Okay, so don't stress too much about your bird being exactly uh, where mine are, but everybody's birds are going to be in different places. And this one has. Go. 
So we're just going to make a whole bunch of these. So the bird's going the opposite direction, maybe. Do a wing. I was going sideways. You only see, so you only see one of the wings. And I know, guys, this might be, this is kind of hard to see. But uh, let's see if I can get a little closer. Okay, some more birds. Some more birds. Here we go. And make this one's flying up across. Okay. Maybe some of your birds are flying right in front of the sun. You guys could add them right in front of the sun. Let's go sideways. We're going to have a little bee wings. <laughs> Sheila says her birds look like cactus in the sky. All right. It's all right, Sheila. Cactus in the sky is all right. We can go across this way now. I can add as many birds as you want, different shapes. Forms, different directions that they're flying in. You also want to make sure that you add some, maybe you got some flying up here. Closer to the balloons. And the birds are a little closer to you. That's one, this one didn't come out so great. That's all right, we can fix them. <laughs> you got this, Sheila. You're good. So again, make as many birds as you want. Make as few birds as you maybe you don't want too many birds, maybe you don't want any birds. But it's up to you. You gotta make as many little birdies as you want. Put some over here on this side too. This one's flying. This one's flying up. And we got his buddy up on top here. Looking good, Jennifer. Jennifer just sent me her picture. Looking, looking pretty awesome. Okay, guys, in a couple minutes, I'm going to back it up a little bit. Got some touch-ups to make. I think what I'm going to do is add, um, I'm going to add some, another, another coat here in just a bit. But you guys keep working on those, uh, on those birds. Is that a better view, guys, like that, up close like that? I don't know that I can always keep it like that because I, when I come across to paint, 
I'll be blocking, I mean, I probably hit the camera and stuff, but that's a pretty good view right there, nice and close. What do you guys think? I'm talking about in general. I know if I brought it in closer for the birds, but in general, I just mean, is that a better shot? How are we doing on those birds? I hope you guys are all making awesome birds. Don't forget guys, I'm going to want to see your pictures when we're all done. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> Belle says her look, hers look like arrows. <laughs> That's funny. Ariel says hers are too big. Okay, all right, all right. So you can vary it. You can vary it, Ariel. Maybe maybe make some. Uh, make a few that are really tiny, so they're a little further back. You know what I mean? So if you guys, as you guys get done with your with your birds, if you guys are, um, if you guys can add another layer of paint to your to your sun, if it isn't really intense or bright, you can do that now. Any little touch-ups that you need to make, you can, uh, you can, you know, you can do those up when you're done with all your little birds, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little uh, half inch brush doesn't have to be my half inch could be a different you know larger size or whatever all i'm trying to do is i'm going to get some yellow and some white mix the two together and i'm just going to add another layer right there just making it a little bit a little bit more intense you don't have to do this it's just uh for those of you that feel your son needs a little touch up. All the way over. Oops. There we go, just like that. So is this better folks? Is this better up close like this? You guys tell me. I know it's probably easier for you to see what I'm doing. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. <clears throat> and then maybe um, if your balloons need some touch-ups, you guys can do that now. Okay. Okay, I'm getting yeses on up close like this. Cool. All right. Awesome. Bring it over to the left a little bit. So again, folks, I'm still working on the on the format, right? What works best? Experimenting a little bit. Okay. Better. So I'm getting a whole bunch of. This is better.
So yes, yeah, so maybe this is what we'll do going forward. As long as I'm able to get in and uh, you know get in the, get in there and paint, this will be the way we do it. Okay, Patty, Patty Lou, I got your, I see that you had a hard time sending me pictures. All right, no worries. I will send you a message. Um, I'll send you a message, and then maybe you can just send me the pictures in return. So, again, everyone, um, send me your pictures. I'd love to see, see what you guys have, what you guys have done. We're not done yet. Keep going. Ask me questions. I don't know if you guys have uh, how far back how far back you are in the painting. But we're just about done. There isn't really much else to add. Um, so yeah, if you guys are you know just kind of catching up, let me know. Let's see. Let's see. Jennifer says I made my ropes too thick. How can I fix them? Okay, so you can fix. Let's say that you made a rope too fat, something on here too big. You can fix it. However, it can be a little tricky. So what you would want to do. As long as the paint isn't too dry, as long as it's still a little bit wet, let's say for example that I wanted to fix this rope right here. There's a way that I can fix it. I would erase it. I take a paper towel, I'd add a little bit of water to it. This one's already kind of damp, but I want to add a little bit more water to it. I just dip my I dip my paper towel in my cup, take a little bit of water, right? And I all I'm gonna do, excuse me, all I'm gonna do is this lightly I start to go over the top of the of what I'm trying to erase and see how it'll come off and I'll do that I'll do that a couple of times but you want to keep using the clean parts of the paper towel as you do this you want to rub super lightly you don't want to go too hard if you go too hard you're gonna raise you're gonna start removing the paint underneath away from the canvas and then you'll have to if you do then you'll have to touch that up also so you guys see that and again I'm just barely touching the canvas I'm just barely barely rubbing the top of the canvas and that's coming off but so that's how you would that's how you would erase and I can do that for anything let's see some of my birds don't come out nicely oh people we got people to do in the baskets yes people we're gonna do people here in just a second thank you Ariel for reminding me of that so we got some people in the baskets so anyhow really quick that's how you would erase that right and then you can go in there and uh, and add your little line again. So, put my palm on my canvas for stability. And I just add my little rope. Okay, but that's how you erase. You can erase almost anything. Now this only works when the paint is relatively fresh. If your paint is too dry, then it, like let's say you try to do this tomorrow, then it probably won't work. Because it, it won't take it off enough Right now it's still, even though it feels dry, it's still underneath, it's still a little bit wet, so that would work. So watch. Yes, people, guys, the, the people are easy. People are easy. All you need, a couple little dots. Let's say over here we got a little dot for a head. Okay? Let me just give it a little body. Nothing crazy. Just like that. You can barely see them. Maybe the one over here, a little taller. A little dot for the head. Let me give it a little body. Look at that. From up close, it doesn't look like anything. It's from a distance that it looks like people. Okay? You want to do that. All your baskets. Little head. Little body. This is a little smaller person right there. These are abstract people. Little abstract bodies. That one's that that dude by himself. He couldn't get a date that day. He's all by his, his lonesome up there. 
Or maybe he's just selfish. Don't want to share his balloon. Same right there. Look at that. Awesome, Susie. You are very, very welcome. <laughs> yeah, Bell's making stick people. Yeah, Susie, absolutely. I'm, I'm hoping that you guys are, are having a good time. Um, my absolute pleasure. But um, so where are we, folks? Where where is everybody? Put your little people in there, and then we're we're pretty much done. Yeah, he's he's by himself because this guy's infected. He's got the coronavirus, so he's social distancing. Just the birds have to watch out and stay away from that guy. All right, guys. So finish up. Finish up your painting here. We're gonna finish up. We're gonna finish this up in about five minutes. I'll be ending the broadcast. Okay. So keep working. Keep working. I'll be leaving the video up on my Facebook if you guys want to go back and uh, you know kind of go over, watch some stuff, some parts of it again. Um, so yeah, just keep in mind I'll have a video up. And you guys can go check that out. Okay. But yeah, keep. Keep working. You guys have any questions? Do you guys have any comments? Maybe I, you guys missed something. And then also, guys, please don't forget to send me pictures of what you would, you guys would like to see me do. Um, I don't. It has to be something that's kind of universal that a lot of people will like, right? If it's too specific, and some people don't um, won't enjoy it or a lot of people wouldn't enjoy it, let's say it's a very particular cartoon character or something like that. Um, you know, we're trying to kind of get lots of people to come on here. The, the more the better. Um, little quaint, little small groups are cool too, but, um, but you know, just so, just so we can get larger crowds. But send me pictures of what you, what you, whoa, let's stop. No. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you guys are still with me. Thumbs up, I wanna see if you guys are still with me, okay? It looks like I'm still recording, so just want to make sure we're okay. Uh, somebody said something Disney. Yeah, maybe we could do something Disney. How about um, maybe even Day of the Dead, some, some Day of the Dead stuff? That's a pretty popular one. Um, but send me pictures, guys. If you guys come across some pictures that you guys think are pretty awesome, send them over to me. Send them to me by Messenger, uh, and I'll take a look at them. And maybe, again, if I think it's something that, that would, a lot of people wouldn't enjoy, we'll do it. We'll have some, you know, we'll have a fun time recreating something. I won't necessarily make it exactly. I try to change it up. I don't want to be stealing other people's ideas or necessarily making an exact copy of somebody else's ideas. But, you know, I'll modify it a little bit. All right. Tatiana says, yeah, Brianna said something Disney. Yeah, that might work. Disney might be something kind of cool. Again, something, something kind of uh, popular, right? But okay, everybody, I think that is the end of our session. I want to thank you guys all for being here with me. So awesome. Uh, send me your pictures. I want to check them out. Don't forget. And then, um, yeah, we'll be. what I'll do with your pictures, once. send me your finished product. And send me group pictures. If you guys are in them, even better. Because what I do is I put them together in a little collage. And I'll post them on my social media. Um, you know, just, uh, just so other people can know, can know what we're doing and... Also, if there's anything you guys want to want to see a little different, I don't know if um, you know. I'm hoping that this is the best format for this. I'm going to be doing a little bit of research on what's happening with this memory thing. It doesn't make any sense to me that uh, this is taking up memory on the phone. I, I, maybe I'm misunderstanding what the message is. I'll look at it a little bit better here in a bit. Um, but <laughs> Marilyn says, "How about a big coronavirus image?" Yes, <laughs> one that glows in the dark. Glows in the dark and we use iridescent paints and stuff. That'd be hilarious. But yeah, so I'll figure out what's happening with, with my phone and these and these uh, this weird message that kept popping up. But everybody, thank you guys so much for being here today. Um, very awesome. And I will see you guys next week. Look for my posts on both my on either my Instagram, my Facebook, or my painting with Jesse Page on Facebook. I try to keep everybody. Um, I keep I try to post on all three for now. Eventually, I might just use one, uh, one platform to post on, but if I post any templates and things like that, it'll be on Facebook. I don't know that I can act. You can't download any pictures from Instagram, right? So if I load something up to Instagram, I don't think you can download it. You'd have to take a screenshot. 
But um, but yeah, if I load templates up or anything like that, it'll it'll be on my uh, most likely on my Facebook. But all right, everybody, thank you guys so much. Love you guys, and I will see you guys next week. Send me your pictures. Love you, love you, love you. Good night. Bye bye. Be safe, everybody. Be safe. Bye bye. You're welcome, Maria. You're very welcome. Bye-bye. Yeah,